Hey everyone, so here I'm doing exercise 7.2, second question. This is from a sixth class fraction chapter. The question is express the following as a mixed fraction. We have given us six problems to solve. Normally, the improper fractions are written as a mixed fraction. So all the numbers we have given to us are actually a improper fraction. Now when you want to convert this, we have to divide the number. Let's start with the first one. So we have a 20 upon 3. So don't cancel the number, divide it. So when you're dividing, you know that number which is written here in the denominator will be your divisor. Okay. So divisor will be outside and the dividend is written inside. That is nothing but the numerator right inside. Now divide. So 6, 3 is our 3, 6 is 18, right? 3, 6 is 18. Subtract it, you will get the remainder 2. Yes, after this, you have to write the mixed fraction in this way. So, question is written here, remainder is written here, and divisor at the down. So, you know what is question. So, question is nothing but the answer what you got here. So, the answer what we got is 6. It's a question. 3 is your divisor, and remainder is nothing but this one which is left out. So, if I substitute this, this will be equal to, I'll write down here. Always remember the number in the denominator will be remain same. We'll get 3 here. Okay, it will be always same. And here, this side I have to write the quotient, which is nothing but the answer what I got after dividing, which is 6. So here I'm going to write down 6. And in the numerator here, it will be remainder. So remainder is 2. So I'm going to write down 2. That's it. So you have to just follow this pattern of writing it okay we'll go for the second question now the second one we have 11 upon 5 so divide it okay so we know 11 uh, is dividend so 5 2 is 10 so remainder will be 1 so when you write it we'll get here so 5 is present so in the denominator also we'll get 5 here the answer is 2 and the reminder is 1 you can cross check, you can just uh, open the mixed fraction and you can check the answer. It's like 2 into 5 or 5 into 2 which is 10 and then 10 plus 1, 11. You're getting the answer. You can check in that way. The next one, we have a C which is 17 upon 7. So divide it. So 7 to the 14. So remainder will be 3. Now the answer will be, since denominator is 7, write down 7 here. Answer I got is 2, write down 2 here. The remainder is 3. Okay, let's go for the next one, D. We have 28 upon 5, so again divide it. So 5, 5 is a 25. Subtracted, remainder will be 3. So when you write this in mixed fraction, 5 is in denominator, write down 5. Okay, and then we have the answer is 5. Here we got the question 5, right? 5, and the remainder is 3. Next one, we have a problem E. So this is 19 upon 6. So 6 and then divide 19. So in 6, 3 is, a, is 18. So remainder will be 1. So this will be equal to 6 is in denominator. Write down 6. And then answer is 3. And the remainder is 1. Okay. Now we have a last problem to solve which is F. So we have 35 upon 9. So 9 here and then write down 35. So we have to take uh, 9 3 is at 27. So 9 and then 3 and then 27. So remainder will be 8 okay, when you subtract it. So this will be equal to since we have a 9 denominator write down 9 answer we got is 3 write down here and the remainder is 8 so write down here so that's it 
we have done with all the problems i hope it's clear only things you should know is this one how to write down so i hope it's clear now in case you have any question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching